In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Unetics Multi-Lab Series 2 Today I will be showing you used to, how to use the ABI feature on the Unetics. This is a Unetics Multi-Lab Series 2. Here the patient already has the cuffs on the ankles and the arms and is already hooked up to the air tubes and all the air tubes come from this main hub, the brachial when we're ready to, to initiate it. We will just hit that and this cord you can see is hooked up to the arm. For the purposes of this video, we will not be pulling up a patient's name, but if you wanted to, you would just use this option on the touch screen to select work list, and then you would type in your patient's name. If your IT office had already set up that feature on the machine, or you can use the mouse and move it down to what you want to select and hit the selection pad. Today we will go to studies. And we will be using the lower arterial studies and use the ABI. But these are some of the options that this machine can do for you. And this is where you would type in the patient's name but for our study today, we're, we're just going to put test. And then hit next. Their ID would be typed here. And this is where you would put the patient's previous numbers if they had had a previous history of having an ABI done. But we're going to enter through those, and now it has us at the brachial pressure. So I'm going to put some gel on the patient's brachial artery at the antacute fossa. As you can see I'm on the brachial artery. I'm going to hit inflate. And when the signal goes away, I will hit deflate. There. And then as the pulse comes back, you hit capture. And then I like where it is here, and I will hit next. And then it has you set up for the left brachial pressure. And over here on the main hub, I will take it off of the right brachial and select the left brachial, which you can see this tube is hooked up to her left arm. And I will acquire the pulse. And if you wanted to, if you had waited for a number of pulses to occur, you can always travel back to the mo most appropriate pressure and then hit next. And this machine is set up that we will get a waveform first of the right PT and then we will get a pressure.
capture the waveform. And then next. Turn up volume. And then deflate once the pulse goes away. And the pulse comes back. And then you hit next. And the DP pulse at the ankle is just lateral, the very mid. Try to get the best waveform you can, and then hit capture, and then next, and it is ready to get the pressure. Pulse goes away, you hit deflate. No need to wait for it to squeeze harder. And then pulse comes back, I hit capture, and then I hit next, which will initiate the left PT. So I will take the valve off the right and to the left. And again, you can see this tube is at this cuff. I have you turn your ankle just a little bit. That's good. capture if you deflate too soon you can always just hit inflate again capture and then next we'll go to the DP I will hit capture and then next then inflate Deflate when the pulse goes away. There we go, and the pulse came back. And the next, and on this particular machine, it does the toes at the same time. Oh, we don't have the toes attached. So the toe pulses are together here, and I'm going to make sure that I have the correct switches. These two are hooked up to the toes. And then here's the PPGs underneath the strap, or if the toe is long enough, you can have this at the end of the toe with this around the first phalangeal. And we will capture the waveforms and hit next. You will see the pulse come back on both. If you wanted to make this waveform bigger, you could gain up or gain down. And you could select the side on which you wanted to do that. It could be the right or the left, or you just stick to both. So we will now get the pressures. And then deflate. And we'll 
we'll just be watching for where the pulse comes back here already. You can see it's coming back on the left a little bit. There might be noise from the machine as well. And see, so here's the waveform coming back. It's a little different than what it was. And obviously this is coming back. So I'm going to hit capture and I'm going to go back to where I believe it began for the right. And then I will go to the left side, select the left by hitting side and I'm on left so I can go back further on the left toe. And then I hit next. And then the study is over. You can send this information to a printer and you can send it to your packs.